Okay, so now we're gonna do my lip glosses and my lip liners. So let me go ahead and organize them. These are all of my lip glosses, but I also, honestly, it's like lip glosses in the back. These are like either liquid lipstick type products or just lip color products that I'm now realizing I probably should have done in the lipstick video, but oh well, here we are. So, and then we'll do the liners afterwards. Um, let's start up here. These are both very similar products. This one's from YSL and it's their um, Rouge Pour Couture lip product in number 19, and it's just like a kind of a weird gloss, but I actually really like it. It's such an easy thing to throw on and it kind of soaks into your lips and it just feels comfortable. This is similar, but it's by L'Oreal and it's their, well, I don't know what it is, but it's in the shade 101 Rose Melody, similar packaging, a little bit different of a formula, but pretty similar. Um, I actually really like both of these. They're a little bit different of colors, so I don't think I'm gonna get rid of either one. They're kind of ones I grab for when I'm in a rush and I just need something for my lips. I grab one of these. Um, this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Supernatural, and it's just a perfect, just normal, kind of mauve lip gloss. It's just the perfect one, so I love that. This one is from Passport to Beauty, and it's their Gyp Setter Luminous Lips. And this is one, I've tried it on my lips a couple times. It is shimmery, and I just don't love it. Just kind of a goopy, sticky formula. I think the shade is Bohemian Glow. It's okay, but it, it's just really sticky and I don't like that. So I'm gonna pass this one on. Um, so keep, get rid of. This is by the grand, brand Lip Gloss and it's in the shade 067 Solar Flare. They'd actually sent me a lot of these, but I already decluttered them. Um, but I kept the shade I thought I might like. And this one's okay, but it has this really, really bad plasticky smell, and I hate to say that, but I, it's like a bad plastic smell, really bad. I can't handle all my lips, definitely going away. This is an It Cosmetics lab sample they sent in something, and it's their, it's their Vitality Butter Gloss in News Anchor Blue. <laughs> and it's just kind of a clear gloss, but it does have a blue tint, and they say that makes your teeth look whiter. Um, I don't know, I put it on my lips and I didn't really notice a difference, so I think I'm gonna pass this on. These are my two Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Glosses. I love them so much, they're not sticky, they're just perfect. My favorite is Blushing Belgraves. I always describe it as a grayish pink because that's what I think it is. It's so milky and pretty. Um, this is the one in peach, well, it's a peach color, it's called Nonstop Glamour. I also love this. Um, it's just a really pretty shimmery peach, but again, they're not sticky, and I think that's so amazing. So I highly recommend those from the drugstore. One of my other favorite <laughs> lip glosses is by NYX. It's called Beige, and it's just a really pretty pink, and it actually just looks nice on the lips. Um, it does have a cherry scent, though. Now, I've got a couple here that are like sample size. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Rebel, or Rebel. Um, kind of feels sticky to be like it's hard to get it on so I think I'm gonna pass this one on I certainly don't need any more um, this is a buxom one now I love buxom polishes so I probably will keep this and I just got rid of the one I had it was just about gone this is in the shade Dolly wow it is a truly tiny size but these make your lips tingle in the best way if you like that and I just love them so I <laughs> it's so tiny I think I'll keep it and just try and use it up. Now on to these bad boys over here. So these are all liquid lipsticks. This is kind of an in-between weird thing and then these are just totally different. So let's do these first. This is a MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Too Matte With Love. Matte like M-A-T-T-E. And it's this amazing <laughs> formula. It's so soft. I mean, do you guys see that? Um, it really is incredible. So I'm definitely keeping this for when I do want to wear a bright pink. It dries down, it stays put. Um, this is a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Bad Habit. 
And this one is, my doggy is yawning, a little bit deeper. It'd be a really good fall color. And I actually got rid of my other ColourPop ones and just kept this one. Um, but so far those are different. I'm gonna compare and only keep ones that I really need to. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. It's a really famous color. Um, very um, 90s. <laughs> um, these all smell like vanilla, by the way. I think literally all of them do. This is a drugstore one though, it's by Milani. It's their Amore Matte Lip Cream and this one's in Lust. And I kind of listed this as a dupe for the Stila one because I really do feel like it is a dupe for the Stila one. Um, but I actually think that I like the Milani one better than the Stila. I think it's a little bit more comfortable and I, the shade is just a little bit more rosy than the other one. Um, or it's a little more warm toned. So I think I'm actually gonna get rid of the Stila one and keep the Milani one. Crazy, right? Yeah. And then this is the Too Faced Melted Li Liquid Lipstick in Melted Chihuahua. I've only used it like once. I don't like these applicators. I think that's what kills me more than anything. Um, it's kind of that brown tone there. Um, I don't know. Do I really need it? I don't know that I'm gonna ever use it. So I think I'm gonna pass it on. I'd rather just wear a lipstick that color than something like this. So I think I am gonna get rid of that. Um, these, I'm getting rid of both. They're these Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. This one's in the shade Devotion and it's, it's an okay, but it kind of shears out. So I don't really know what it's with. That's why I was saying it's kind of like a mixture of things. This one's in the shade Addiction and it's supposed to be deeper and you'd have to put a lot of layers on to make sure it's um, totally not see-through. Does that make sense? I don't think they're terrible, but I kind of think they're terrible. Like if they're gonna kind of market it themselves as something comparable to these, I feel like they need to be a little bit more pigmented, not as sheer. Um, again, you can build them up, but I'm like, you know, the Milani one is way, way better for the same price. So I'm definitely getting rid of both of those. These are kind of new to me. So this is the Maybelline Color Blur, and this one's in I'm Blushing. I love this color so much. I've used this a lot since I bought it. Um, just a really simple, kind of thin, but really pigmented, comfortable thing to wear. This one's in the shade Berry Misbehaved, and it's a much more berry-toned color. Um, they're all really pretty. I think I'm gonna keep both because I really do like this formula. I was so impressed with these, so I'm gonna keep those. So I don't think that's too bad. I'm getting rid of these, I'm keeping these. Um, <laughs> that's really not bad compared to where I was like a year or two ago. So, and you know what? Now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Buxom one just because it's so tiny. I know out of what I already have, I'm probably not gonna reach for this much just because it's, it's, I kind of almost feel like, why even bother? I don't know. I know that's terrible of me to say, but someone else will probably actually really use this and enjoy it. So that's that. Let's go through my lip liners now. Um, just going to kind of set them out. Again, I've got this, if you saw my lip stick declutter, I've got all of these Urban Decay um, lipsticks. They also sent me a bunch of their lip liners. So um, I haven't done a swatch video of these yet. I don't know that I will of the liners though, to be honest with you. So let me go through what I already have and then I'll go through those. So this is the Star Looks Hearts Boxy Charm Charmed pencil, lip pencil. And I actually really like this shade. Uh oh, that just broke off. Oh boy. It's kind of feeling drier than it was like a month ago when I first got it. And that's broken. Um, but I like the shade, but I'm gonna think about that one because that's kind of dry. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't even mess with it. This is one of my favorite Starlux products. No, this is my favorite Starlux product of all time. It's their Infinity Lip Pencil and it's in Terry's Choice. And it's this amazing berry color. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. So definitely keeping that, getting rid of this. So let me, I'm just gonna get rid of that, keep that. Um, this is by Kiko Milano, I've got two. This one's in 302 and it's their creamy color lip liner. And yeah, I like that way better than the Starlux one. So I'm going to keep that. This one is in 312 and it's much more pink, but it's kind of, this one's kind of like sheer. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. The other one was not very sheer, but this one's kind of coming through a little bit sheer, which is not what I want in a lip liner. So I'm going to pass that one on. 
This one is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Staunchly Stylish. And it's again a peach, I need to sharpen it, a deeper peach tone. Actually more of a deeper almost brown, but I don't really have anything like it, so I'm definitely keeping that one. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bound. There, whoa, I need to clean that up and sharpen it. This is actually kind of similar to the MAC. No, it's not. It's actually a lot more mauve. Um, their Lip B pencils really are amazing, but I need to sharpen it. So I'm definitely keeping that. Um, so keeping four, getting rid of two out of the ones I already had. Now we've got these. First of all, I have this Urban Decay 24-7 one here. Well, they're all Urban Decay 24-7. Sorry, I need to stretch my legs out. This is in the shade Mrs. Mia Wallace. I love the formula of these. They are incredible. But this is one you can't get anymore, so I don't like to use it. So I think I'm going to get rid of it because I see that there might be some other red options here I can keep that you'd be able to still purchase. Um, this red one is called 714. It's meant to correspond with their 714 um, lipstick. And it's like kind of an orange toned red. And I don't have anything like that in what I'm keeping so far. So I'm going to keep that one. This one's in the shade Naked. It is very nude like way that's I have more pigmented lips that's not gonna work so I think <laughs> sadly I'm gonna get rid of that one um, this one is in the shade gash and it's more of a like oxblood red I don't like that shade on me so I'm gonna pass it on this one's in hex and it's more of a deep berry wow I'm gonna think about that one that's gonna go in the thinking pile this one's in jilted and it looks like a bright pink, but again, it looks exactly like that um, Kiko one, where it's kind of almost sheer. Yeah, it really reminds me of this Kiko one, where it's kind of more sheared out. Um, I don't know that I like that. Let's try this pink one as well. This one's in Anarchy, and it, yeah, that's like a much, well, it's certainly really bright, but um, it's not sheer at all, which I want. <laughs> This is a purple one in Pandemonium. That's interesting, but I will pass it on. This one is in Conspiracy, which is meant to go with their Conspiracy. It's literally brown. So if you like that, I know a lot of people that actually looks really nice with your skin tone. This one is that one in Hex, isn't it? Hex really is different. I'm kind of thinking about keeping it just because I don't have anything like it. And if I did have a really, really deep lipstick, I might actually want that to at least have as an option. So I might keep it. We'll see. If I don't ever use it, then I'll know, okay, it's time to get rid of it. And that makes me think I might keep this purple one just because I've never seen one like this. And if I did find a purple lipstick I genuinely wanted to wear, I don't know that that's going to happen. I think I want to hold on to it for just a little bit longer. Um, to make sure and then again if I never ever use it then I know I'm gonna get rid of it but that's kind of where I'm at right now so I'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight lip liners and I'm getting rid of two four six seven so getting rid of those there keeping these not too bad and again some of these might eventually go anyway but not bad so these are all the ones I'm keeping and this is what I'm getting rid of